You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie Hey baby loves, are you a CC addict like me and always wanted to know where I get my CC from? Make sure to check out my CC Finds Pinterest page for the good shit. It's categorized and growing every day because it will be CC shopping for real for real. Link is in the description box below. Okay, now let's get into the video. Hello everybody, it's your good year exa exa here and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today we have a very kind of special gameplay for you guys. Um I needed some comfort in. My comfort save is like the future LYFC save. Now, if y'all don't know what LYFC is, it's my main LP machinima and we're going to spend some time with the Valentine's family for Valentine's Day. All right, because they're my comfort family and I love them. So, so it's like two years in the future, I want to say. Yeah, about two years in the future. Um, And things have definitely changed, but we're not going to get in too much of the story overall. We're just going to... Who is this in my house? Brennaman, excuse me? You see, this is the kind of shit. This is why I do machinima. Because random people, let's just be walking through your house. Like, if they're paying bills and shit. Like, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> this is... Ugh. People just be trying to be having, like, a nice intro and whatnot. But no. Random niggas walking through your house. Anyway, <laughs> let me just get into it. It's in my current series, Brooke is Pregnant. So, spoiler... They have two kids at the point in time, like right back to back, right? So this is Chris. Um, I want to say two years in the future. You know, Chris is very much the same. Brooke has had two babies. So uh, they have a toddler, Kaya Brooklyn, KB for short. And we have MG, who is Molly Jade. So let me give you all a backstory. If you all don't know LYFC, right? So the Valentines uh my legacy family and lyfc is essentially like a prequel um i'm gonna post a i'm gonna post a link to the original lp and in the machinima series that i have so chris is like my my legacy heir right and brooke is his girlfriend uh well no actually they're, they're married in this save so they have matching wedding band tattoos and i think that's like the cutest thing um so anyway brooke is my fabulous well chris's fabulous wife okay so chris is a freelance programmer and brooke is a freelance photographer so let me just give you a little rundown of their their, their cute little home we have like the entryway with like the family photos so this is like the living area it has like a lot of like infant stuff you know you know how kids take over the place when they are born like you know you're trying to be all cute and stuff and the care bears chair in the middle of the living room i love this this photo wall here as you can see brooke had um brooke had her little blonde hair moment but now it's in braids because she's growing it out because honestly i'm thinking that she's gonna start her lock journey soon so yeah oh and this is like Oh, this is her mom, Miss Pamela. Yes, calling to chat. Miss Pam has to come over and babysit the kiddos because these babes are going away for the weekend. All right, so this is them and their family. I'm sorry, I'm I'm obsessed. So this is KB. She is Chris's twin. She is a spoiled baby. She's the first child. And Kaya, Kaya Brooklyn. Okay, so she's so Brooke. She's named after her mom and she's also named after weed. Because if y'all know, Kaya is a name for weed, right? Now, if y'all don't know Brooke and Chris, Brooke and Chris are weed heads. So, yeah. And Molly is named after Bob Molly and Molly J. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love these two little, I love these two little beans. They're so, like, adorable. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Let me show you the rest of the house. The kitchen is a very green and white kitchen. Like, like that's all I'm going to say. It's, like, it's just green and white you know there's lactation stuff everywhere there's bottles everywhere it's like a family it's like a family house right there's a hallway here that isn't decorated and then there's like 
the kitty's bedroom. It's like bright and pink and pretty. Right? And oh, hello, little Molly Jade. Right, and then this there's a bathroom in here. It's a Jack and Jill bathroom. And then this is Chris's office. Okay, so she's watching TV in Chris's office. As if it doesn't have a TV outside. Because you all know Chris is a programmer. He's also he was also a gamer. But um he quit the gaming career and he's just focusing on doing his programming. And this is oh, this is smoke. Oh hello smoke. I completely forgot about you. Sorry, I'm really bad with pets, guys. Okay, so this is their bedroom. Okay. This is the outside. The backyard guns. Okay, so we have like the little backyard space. It's really cute. And there's a pool. Chris is getting his morning swim on. All right. There's a small pool. It's nothing big, nothing major, but it's nice. And then we go upstairs. So there is a nice little photo studio upstairs here. I got makeshift photo studio. Nothing, nothing major. Then there's like, why is the lighting so bad? Oh, the ghetto. All right. And then there's a bathroom here. Oh, I forgot to show you Brooklyn Chris's bathroom. Ugh. And then this is a guest room for when the mom comes to visit. But as you can see, it's like bare bones minimum. So the ghetto child, the ghetto. And I'm thinking about Sasha because um, if you all know Sasha Spaces, I'm sure you all do. She always has this meme of, why are you having popcorn? Go and cook something. She always has this meme of like Nene Leaks, right? And I'm, that's what I'm thinking about when I'm saying when I'm saying the ghetto, the ghetto child. <laughs> anyway, right. So this is their bathroom. Get naked. Um, right. It's very pink. And Chris's favorite color is pink. Right. And when he met Brooke, she had pink hair. Uh, anyway, so he fell in love with the pink haired girl. And that's a love story. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. She's. Oh my god, guys. Uh, Oh, Molly Jade. Okay, MJ. I know, Pumpkin. Now, MJ has, like, I think she got, like, all her milestones and stuff. Like, she is, like, she she's done a lot. Like, she she has, like, she could honestly age up, honestly speaking. But, um, yeah. Like, she could pull to stun. I'm just, I just really want her to be in, in, in this baby stage forever because... You know, in real life, the stage goes really quickly. He's like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna get out of here. I know. It's time for you to wake up, baby. Oh, she is a. Oh, she's. Oh, she's a heavy sleeper. Oh, I know. So this is little KB Kaya Brooklyn. Oh, hi, baby girl. What are you doing? Call your granny and tell her that you wanted to come over. She's like, granny, granny, yeah, come over, come over and play with me. Oh, Molly, oh no. Give a bubble bath to Molly Jade. Chris is like such a, like, he's like, okay, I need to check in on my child. He wants to bottle feed his daughter. He's like, you're starving my child. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> rude brooke you need to use you need to pee so go pee before you pee yourself why do you need to take a pregnancy test please tell me you're not pregnant because i can't i literally cannot deal with another child and i've been in this save like about 15 minutes now i know she's hungry i know she's starving and i know she's sleepy it's okay chris what are you doing they're gonna take my child away from me christopher okay no. you know what just give her a bottle because i i can't let them take my baby away from me because i will cry i came in here to be comforted not to be stressed okay come on give her a bottle christopher i know i know daddy's not doing what he's supposed to be doing mm, yeah give him a bottle now i know just not, I need to get like a picture because this is adorable. Like my family. <laughs> my family. Oh my I love them. Look at this baby girl. And oh, and yeah, let me go to bed, baby girl. I, I know that. I know. 
Look at you, you little pumpkin pie. I'm sorry, I'm obsessed. Brooke is like exhausted. I'm sorry, hon. I know it's been... <laughs> She's like, motherhood. <laughs> I know. Don't worry, granny. Palm will come just now to the rescue. Yes. Yeah. Are you telling her? You tell, tell him about your day. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yebu. Kimba. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Krin. Yeah. He is like literally like a good daddy. Like so supportive, so like loving, so hands on, always come to check on his kitties. Yeah. Like Brooke has a really good one. She got a good guy. Like, oh, look at her knocked out. Tuck in the pumpkin and then tuck in this pumpkin as well. Kiss her good night. Oh, my girl. Yes, daddy loves you. Oh, look at my babies. They're huggings. All right, my loves. See you in the morning. Bye. Hey guys, so it's bright and early the next morning. Okay, so Miss Palm is here. Now Miss Palm is Brooke's mama. Brooke's hot, hot mama. So I'm gonna like let her cook them some breakfast. Christopher, can you change this stinky baby? Molly, MG, MG, please. <laughs> Ease up, okay? Be on your best behavior, granny is here. Oh, this baby is starving. Oh, do not let granny hear that, so no, because she will be upset. Everything good? How things going? This, this place was in a mess. But it's a good thing I cleaned it up. Oh, Lord. And look at you. Bam Bam spreading bigger than everything else. Anyway, I'm making some breakfast here. You had nothing in your, fr nothing in your fridge. I had to make some groceries. She's like, Granny Pommy. Granny Pommy. Oh, yes, pumpkin pie. Oh, Brooke looks gorgeous. I'm sorry. Motherhood looks great on Brookie. Okay, I know. All right, so everybody's fed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're having a good time? Okay, good. Yeah, Granny Pam makes her best, her best pancakes. Yeah. Okay, good. What's wrong? Are you ready to sleep again? Oh my goodness, uh, come here, come here, Molly, come here. Don't worry, Granny Pam Pam is gonna give you a nice little nappy nap, okay? All right, my baby, come here, let me put you to bed now. Yeah, go and sleep, baby. Oh, my little brookie baby. Oh, oh. Looking just like your mother. Just like your mother, you know. Just like your mother. Go in your bed. Go in your bed and sleep. Right. So can you all clean up this place? And Brooke is her only child, so she's like very spoiled. You know, I now realize Brooke is rocking the similar hair color to her mom. Is this your red hair era, Brooke? Oh, oh mommy, thank you for coming. She's like, listen, I know this place is in a mess. I'm sorry. We've just been like going. It's It's been crazy. I've got work and stuff like that. She's like, don't worry. I always here, Gail. I always here for you. It's all right. Uh, you know, mommy does come true and spoil up she grandchildren. Now let me come and clean this place. What? No, why are you sick? You can't be sick. Christopher, no, 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 we're not doing this. We have to go on a vacation. She's scared. You're afraid of the dark? I know, this hallway is scary. I'm sorry, baby. I'm gonna get some lights. Are you looking for Dada? Like, oh, she's asking for a book. Okay. But Daddy needs to get some meds. So, we need to order some medication for, for Papa. Wait, I have nine already? Where? Who has nine? Who is it on? Okay, it's on Brooke. Okay, so give your husband 
some medication, please, because I take meds. Thank you. Chris, are you healthy again? Okay, good. Aren't they cute? <laughs> she's like, she's singing to her papa. Why are you sitting along on the chair that's meant for her? He's like, yeah. Oh! Oh! My heart! The two of them! Brooke, you've been replaced, okay? Okay, guys. So, it's after two on this Saturday. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them leave to go to Tartosa for the weekend since Miss Palm is here. And um, so, we're going to say goodbye to their kiddos. Look at her. She's so spoiled. I love her too much. Yes, daddy. I can say daddy, food, book, baba. I can say MJ. Yeah, MJ is still sleeping. This child can real sleep, boy. You're damn right, girl. You're damn right. Get your Z's in. So, Pam is making sure everybody pack everything. She's like, you know, y'all could leave now, right? All right. So get out of the house now. Uh, I'm good with the kids. Okay? Yes. Alrighty. Yes, mommy. And I hope that I don't come back pregnant. Alright? Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's say bye-bye to the family and let's head to Tatosa. So see you in a bit. Bye. What a beautiful day to be in Tartosa. Oh, it's so nice here. Like, okay, so one of these days, I believe that these Sims are going to move to Tartosa. That's like one of the dreams of mine eventually. But well, we'll see if it's in the cards, right? But in the meantime, welcome to the Love Shack, Cimarala. She did a love shell challenge and she built the shell and they just had to decorate it and like bring it to life. Now, originally on top here was different, but when I download, I built it in my no CC save and when I downloaded it, all of the flowers and stuff were gone. I did like, I got like these Bergen Villas and I put it on top here um, and they were gone and I didn't know how to get it back. And I really hope when she downloads it, downloads it, it's there. I'm going to put like pictures of how it looked. So this is like the love shack. Let me let me give you a quick little walkthrough. So it's like a rental. Um, so it's all like very um love themed and super duper pink. You walk here. There's a little kind of arch. There's a little fountain area. Um, there's the main entrance to the shack, but we'll get in there later. Right. So we have like a nice little spot for some bikes that they might be going on a bike ride for and there's like a little wishing well right um we have like a flamingo and if you want to do some stargazing in the night i love this little walkway with these little hearts to show you well hey this is where love leads love leads you here and you have like a little pool area which is super duper cute and a heart shaped pool of course of course, it's a heart shaped pool because why the heck not? Right? And then we have a bar and a nice little seating area to just kind of like, to kind of like watch the sunset, you know? Let's go into the um, shack. <laughs> a very fancy shack, by the way. So you go in, there's like a little record player, like space to dance, there's space for your clothing. Um, let's go. So we have like a little closet kind of situation happening here. There is a little, um, oh, what's happening? Why is the fridge broken? What the, what kind of situation is this? You come to like, your rent a place and the fridge is broken. How dare they, right? So there's a little kind of kitchen at situation. Cause I'm thinking they're going to be, they, their food is going to be catered. Um, there's a little spot to watch, like this, just sit down and watch TV if you want to, right? There's a little indoor pool for when it's like, kind of like freezing out, right? And, um, there's the bedroom situation. Um, I really like this, like, there's no CC in this build at all, right? So it has like this little canopy, this little, um, fan. 
and we have the mirrors behind the bed because <laughs> of course we do and then we're gonna go this way we have some windows here there's the out the door leading out the back and then this is like the restroom right here or the bathroom it's like a big open skylight there's a tub there's a shower um sink and stuff toilets I haven't play tested this, so I really don't know if it's if if, if all this is working. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see right now. <laughs> okay, so what's the first thing y'all do when y'all go to vacation? <laughs> Can y'all guess? We are going to Woohoo. Okay. Any people in that place? Okay. You know, like break it in. You know. <laughs> what happened? <gasps> He performed poorly. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. The poor thing. I am sorry, my dude. I know the place was dizzy. The variables just weren't there. Your head wasn't in the game. That's okay. Ravashin has like this kind of insertable buffets. Um, so instead of taking up like a whole set of space, I'm just gonna like um use this for their food. So essentially, I catered. So yeah, this is Ravashin's insertable buffet into like any um countertop it's like really convenient when you want to pretend like your sims have catered meals and stuff like that so love day to them it's like they have to give gifts they have to go on a date they have to go on vacation or travel have a romantic spirit and have like you know sexy time right so we're gonna we're gonna see if we can do that for them on monday but oh look at you my gorgeous girl sorry i'm not like like brooke is brooke is like the perfect sim for me so here's what to do maybe change your outfit mc command center mc dresser change outfit kiss his neck give him a kiss yeah let's do it let's try wrong too let's see if he's gonna redeem himself So yeah, so both of y'all can go and sleep, right? Yes. Woohoo! Okay, so he's good. So pleasantly satisfied. He has redeemed himself. And she's completely satisfied. You know what? I agree. Oh yay. So let's go and do like an early morning bike ride. I mean, it's a bit cloudy up in this, up in here, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, and this is the infamous bush that he and Brandy slept together in. But that was Christopher! Well, I mean, if if of all people it would be it would be Brandy, to be honest. Yeah, it would be Brandy. But okay. Ooh, yes. Uh, oh my gosh. <gasps> Stop. Stop you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Yes, he and Brandy from BITCH did have a sneaky hookup in the bushes um, in Tartosa that one time. Yeah, that that's behind him now. Chris has always been like a one woman man. Like that's just, he's a faithful dude, right? He doesn't really do like hookups, like random hookups like that. And that time he was just like going through a breakup. It was like, oh, look at my pumpkin. Sorry, I am Jen three air of my legacy he is so spoiled and i love him to pieces and i want nothing but the best from him and i want nothing but for him to fall in love and be in love for the rest of his life he's always gonna be my baby if y'all don't know like i've been playing with the valentine family for like i want to say since 2019 i'm now on generation three so i've been playing i play long long generations and i really love it and i really love this family and i want lofs is just like his story and like where he finds himself in like his mid in his mid 20s okay guys so we are at the beach in tartosa it's a really like it's a overcast day so it's not as pretty as i want it to be why do both of y'all need to like pull out your bikes to go right there 
Like, you're, both of y'all are so ridiculous. It's not even funny. <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> I'm, like, that was a fully waste of time. Like, a waste of my time. This is a cute little build though. I'll put like the the person that built that did this. Oh, he's cooking up a storm. Grilling. Grilling some barbecue ribs. Uh-huh. Don't be putting the ribs on the floor. Christopher, please. Brooke is brooking. Okay. In her teeny weeny pink bikini. Okay. Like look at her. I'm sorry. Like she is. And she, the thing is, she has like a little belly, but her mom gave her like this cocoa butter, like, um, remedy. So she doesn't have like stretch marks, even though she has like two kiddos. Like she, she, her skin has snapped. Okay. It's, it's snapped. Right. And I know you're hungry, babe. So let's go eat your floor ribs. Okay. Oh, look at her. Thick. What? She's like, thank you, baby. Yeah. No, guys, Brooke is not breastfeeding. And, like, she didn't smoke at all during, like, um, her pregnancies, of course. But, you know, every now and again, she takes a little puff. A little puff, puff, puff. Mm. My baby still like to have fun. Yes. Yes, my love. It's real hot in the sun. Oh, Brooke and Chris forever. I'm so obsessed with them. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, adorable. Oh, another thing too, I have to find like a nice gift for them for gift giving tomorrow. So I'm like, let me see, what does Chris have on him? Oh, he has the heart of Sulani. In this save, they got eloped in Sulani. Um, I'll see if I could put in some pics, but yeah. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh. So she wrote a book called Love Is. So um, it's going to be dedicated to him. Oh my I Christopher He's like, are you flirting with me, sir? Are you flirting with your wife? Mm -hmm. Like, not these two being nasty flirts <laughs> I think they've always been super, like, attracted to each other They're very hot for each other Sorry, are we getting spicy on the beach? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so they left the beach, which is like right there, and they're gonna go to the um, theme park. So they're still in the mood that they were in earlier, right? So they're just gonna go over here and like you know, woo -hoo, um, like real quick, like <laughs> let's just 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 like um, you know. And one thing led to the other, and they are now woohooing. <laughs> I'm sorry. The music is killing me. <laughs> oh, the music is so silly. It's so stupid. Yes. Rock the boat. Rock the boat. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Work it in the middle. Hey, 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 
hey, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. You know what I miss? Like in Sims 2, when people were doing it in public like this, people used to run and cheer. Oh, the Sims 4 could never. Like, really and truly. <laughs> Why are you so dirty? <laughs> Yeah, it's you that stinks. It's you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, she does love physical intimacy. She can't get enough. So we're going to let them woohoo for like the 50th time. And then tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So we will be going out um, and having like a really romantic time with them right um i don't know maybe it might be like a little montage with some music it just depends on my vibes and my mood y'all know how i go y'all know i can't resist cinematic mood and and romantic shit i've been trying to like keep it really light but y'all know i can't y'all know i can't resist that listen my sims get freaky guys like <laughs> my sims Uh, I am so not, I am like the anti-wholesome um, Sims player. Let's just put this on the floor for you guys so you can just get up and eat. So you can just like eat this real quick. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because I'm like, I'm trying to be like all wholesome like in the beginning. And, um, and then it's like my Sims just woo-hooing like all over the place. You are not. Are you having a sex dream about your friend? She was having a dream about her friend, Gem. Girl, I told you to switch out of this outfit. He's like, girl, look at that booty. Look at her bouncy. Her butt has gotten broad. Your bouncy broad, gal. Wipe on it, wipe on it, wipe on it, gal. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. I am really in love with Brooks, Brooks brought butt from like a long time because I am Chris and Chris is me. Um, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, all the ass is mine. Chris, you're going to make a coquito. It's four in the morning. He's like, I can't make a coquito. What the hell wrong with you? I on vacation. Skills. He want to show off his skills to y'all. She's like, she's like, yeah. Let me bring, let me bring my bombs here across here, so y'all can see. Cause she had all of these seats, by the way, and she chose to come and sit on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to get pregnant? That's what you want to get. Yeah. She's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Roche pa. <laughs> Don't be flirty like that. She's Hello, like, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't bring that bum here on here no. I will deal with your case. Yeah, deal with it. Deep. Yeah. We'll deal with it now. Yeah. <laughs> what are they talking about? I'm sorry. It's her reaction. She's like, ah! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. So it's V day today. It's V day today. It's V day today. Yay! All right. Yeah. Um, guys, it's like one in the morning. I am like really excited about life right now. Okay. So it's carnival here in my country, and the morning that I'm filming this, like, there's gonna be parades happen starting from like four o'clock in the morning. So I'm hoping to get this filming done before that because it's good. So Brooke's date is at this spa. It's like, you know what? She and Chris never really get to take like spa days. Oh my god. Yes, I'm so ready to go. How much oil you gonna put?
So we're both in the spa together, relaxing. It's like a very, you know, like, you know, exactly where they want to be. It's, it's, they're, they're both in the mood. Well, I mean, who, they're always in the mood. But they do have a goal. And it's like, you know, <laughs> excuse me. Please get out from here. Who is this? We're going to delete you because get away. Oh my gosh, so much people coming in here. Okay, fine. Don't go in the sauna then. Um, Hello, oh, no, look at them. Are you serious right now? I'm sorry. Y'all are getting y'all are getting super steamy up in here. Not the pinky, not the pinky finger out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're just going to leave these two like right here. Because <laughs> we are in Tartosa and life is good. Like, I love Tartosa, guys. Tartosa is like, oh. Oh, excuse me. This is this is a beautiful shot. <laughs> I'm looking for a thumbnail right now, okay, guys. So, <laughs> oh, vibing Valentine's Day with the Valentines, okay. Like they have such good, good chemistry, even though they're opposites, they have really good compatibility, they're jokesters. Um, she perceives them as very attractive. It's transcendental. She, like when they woohoo, it's it's transformative. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm dying. I think this is from Wicked Whims. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a wicked sentiment okay brooke will find it hard to forget the amazing session of lovemaking that she had with christopher they hit it out of the ballpark leaving them both sweaty and satisfied when christopher's around brooke can't help but feel invigorated and ready for her next role in the hay when i tell you that like that's the vibes that's the vibes okay Them they do too much, but you in control. 
loving that about you. Me, I want it all, oh. She my baby doll, oh. Body day hot, oh. Leading out follow. Me que la tenga poco legio. Yo no de que me atento un tío. I want to be wherever you go. Me que la tenga poco legio. Yo no de que me atento un tío. You got my heart and I think you know. Baby girl. And I done run a thousand days Just to find you in my way Now, I want them to renew their vows with each other. First of all, I know we didn't get to see Brooke's outfit, but like, <laughs> look at her. <laughs> this dress though, for real, like, is super hot and I need to like, find a place for her to wear this dress <laughs> again because this is a whole look right here. shucks are rocking don't come a knocking <laughs> bye guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video this has been so much fun to do and um listen if you're already patreon exclusive y'all know what time it is bye booze love ya i hope you all are having a wonderful wonderful valentine's day and thank you for watching my video um this has been gxxo bye